Hey y'all, it's Barbara Hippie Homesteader Wannabe, and I'm in my messy kitchen and I'm not feeling good. I'm fighting a, some kind of illness and I'm hoping it's not the illness, you know. But anyway, I wanted to, I'm going to make some serious herb tea this morning and uh, I wanted to share how I do it. Now I love a French press for making uh, herb teas. And uh, we, my son got me both the blue teapot and the blue French press for Christmas a few years ago. And I don't like using the French press for coffee much, but I do like it for herb teas. So anyway, I'm going to kind of throw some things together. This is some, let me get some that looks good. This is some home dried orange peel organic. I'm going to stick some of that in there. This is some um, home dried. Let me make sure you're on in, in the schedule. Okay. Or on the thing. This is some home dried uh, and home grown sage. And I'm going to pick some of that off. Sage for um, it's good for sore throat and cough and I think it might be antibacterial and antiviral and all that too. So we'll let that. And another one, this is some home dried, and I don't think I grew this. Let me look at it. It's some thyme I dried in the in that hot room I got. Let me see what it looks like. I don't know. I was reading over herbs that are good for colds and coughs and stuff and I don't know. Man, it smells good. If any goes out if I do that. I don't think I want the sticks as much as some of the leaves. To put some of this uh, I think this is plantain. It's English plantain or narrowly. One of them is peppermint. I think it's this one. Yeah, I'm going to put some peppermint in. That's homegrown. I'm going to make this kind of stout so I can have like little, little cups and kind of space them through the day. And then I am going to put some plantain in. I read some things about what plantain can do for a, like a call. The whistle. Oh. I'm also going to put some... Uh, these are uh, herbs that I bought to make nourishing herbal infusions out of like, they come in these big bags like this and I've been getting them from an Etsy store called Wells. I've been getting them from an Etsy store called Wells of Health and uh, they seem to be a good place to get bulk herbs. But what I'm putting in from that is I'm gonna use some mullen. I don't have a uh, home home cra uh, wild crafted mullen and I may put some of this linden in there too and yesterday I put some a little bit of marsh marshmallow root in so I think I'm gonna put all of these and yeah you know it's maybe not the best to put a whole bunch of different stuff at once but there goes the mullen I don't know. Let's think synergy. This is all synergistic, right? <laughs> and uh, we'll put some linden flowers. You know, linden and plantain and marshmallow root all have a, a like a mucilaginous, you know, soothing demulcent. Is that the word they use in herbalism? So, uh, and yes, I still got the same sweater on. And here goes the marshmallow root. So this is probably like a real herbalist probably would do this totally different, but it just is what it is. I'm not feeling good and I'm going to make this. So what I'm going to do is pour this over. I probably feel pretty much fill up the whole thing. And then uh, let it steep for 10 minutes. And then I'll 
add about a teaspoon of local raw honey to it when I drink it. And whenever I have my soup today, which I always have soup, I'm going to add a, some fresh garlic cloves. So when I make tea, I usually put the lid in and kind of like kind of push it down just a little bit and let it just kind of sit in there. And uh, so anyway, that's going to sit for 10 minutes. And then uh, I'll clean up my mess here and make my tea. Okay. Doesn't that look pretty? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just push those down. And then I just usually just leave it in this pot all day on the stove. Um, if it cooled down enough, I might stick it in the fridge. Then I'd reheat it when I use it. But I'm going to go ahead and pour myself some. This honey is like not real close, but it's pretty close. It's probably less than 100 miles away, so it's I'd call that local. And then I put about a about a teaspoon of that. Honey is so messy, but anyway, this is what it is. Wonderful though. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got it in my appropriate angel mug there to um for healing <laughs> so i hope y'all feel better than i do and i'm sure that i'll get i'll get feeling better here